Maximum Industries got started in uh, 1996. I uh, purchased uh, two water jet systems and one laser system and began uh, contract cutting along with distributing uh, turnkey water jet systems. When you come in our facility, we try to show a little bit of uh, what the technology will do. When you walk in the front door, you'll see a, an, an inlay of our uh, logo in the, in the floor, into uh, a wood floor. You'll see a, uh, a, a logo, our logo in the carpet in the conference room. Uh, in our lobby also is a, a very uh, detail ornate uh, uh, screen or grill per se, a, of a quarter inch thick aluminum, all water jet cut, abrasive water jet cut. In the early days, it was uh, a lot of just your, the, the typical water jet guys that couldn't justify their own machines. It was uh, sign companies, uh, gasket companies, uh, people working with uh, high alloy metals that could justify the cost of the technology, working with titanium and nickel and Hasselor and things like that. But today, uh, it, it's gone the, the full spectrum. We, we do a lot of uh, point of purchase display, we do a lot of signage, we do a, a lot of defense and aerospace, probably 65%, 70% of our business is aerospace or defense related. Water jets will cut anything, uh, virtually anything, so you got to know what it's going to cut profitably, things that aren't perfectly flat uh, or trickier to, to maybe fixture and jig to be able to, to cut. Uh, so there, there, there are some issues uh, with setup and things that maybe you can't justify or can't cost into the job enough to, to justify doing the job. The thicker materials, uh, water jet starts to take over the economics. Uh, if you are cutting reflective metals as uh, aluminum and things like that, it takes over. Uh, so anything that uh, is, has resin in it, has, uh, is a foam product, uh, is reflective, is thicker. Uh, water jets are definitely the way to go. Say we're cutting some one and a half inch uh, thick uh, aluminum for MRAP. Uh, laser really wouldn't handle that. Water jets the, the clear choice. Uh, if uh, if we're cutting some uh, composite material, uh, laser would cut it uh, and cut it fine, but it's going to burn the edges. It's going to uh, uh, how to describe it. It's going to uh, uh, give off fumes, it's going to burn the fibers. Water jet's a cold cutting process. It's a very easy uh, decision that composites is the way to cut it with water. I mean, I did evaluate every manufacturer out there. Uh, you know, there, there may have been some bias, but, but I was a businessman at that point. I was going to put the best piece of equipment uh, in the facility that I knew was going to give me the best available uptime, was going to give me the lowest operating cost. And uh, so, you know, KMT, you know, I felt very comfortable with the, the, their service, their, uh, their product design, and, uh, you know, it, it became a pretty easy decision. When, once you got in, down into the nuts and bolts of it, uh, the, the design, I felt, was just much more stable.